Hello, this is Blake Bennett. Cindy's father. Your chase insidious single mother, is that correct? Insidious single mother? What do you mean by that? But yes, it's me. I'm Chase's mother. Is there anything you need from me? Do you actually think a lowlife like yourself can waltz right into our family so easily? Ha! Think again. You pathetic witch. You're gonna have to deal with me before you even dream of fitting in here. Hold on, Blake. What is this about? You know our children are getting married next week, right? It's been planned for months now. I also heard months ago that you had approved the marriage. Isn't that right? Yes, I did approve of the marriage. However, that is totally unrelated to the fact that he was raised by an insidious single mother who we simply can't trust. Chase's saving grace is the career path he's on, which is quite promising indeed. I'm insidious? Why do you keep saying that? Do you have anything against me? Let me explain it in a way that even someone with a skull as thick as yours can comprehend. Insidious, noun, gradually and secretly causing harm, treacherous or conniving. Oh, sorry, I should remember to not use big words when speaking to people of your kind. My bad. <laughs> I know what the word means, and I'm pretty sure that's an adjective, not a noun. Clearly, you need to double-check your sources. Oh, look at you, Miss Know-It-All. I know what the word means. How impressive. Listen up, I don't need spelling lessons from someone who belongs in the movie Idiocracy. Um, excuse me? But it's not a spelling lesson. Whatever, you understood what I meant, did you? Honestly, I don't know what you're getting at. Do you mean to say that I'm secretly causing harm? You think that I'm evil or something? Yes, that's it. I mean, obviously my vocabulary is much richer than yours. But yes, to put it in terms that you would understand, I think you're evil and bad. Simple as that. But you've obviously approved of the marriage, so why are you saying these things now? Do you have some kind of problem with me, but you like Chase? I really don't get you. Chase is a good man. He managed to get himself a job at a Fortune 500 company. So he deserves my respect. He has promised and I have high expectations of him. He meets the requirements that I have for someone trying to marry my daughter. That is why I gave him my blessing. Chase has done really well for himself, hasn't he? Maybe I shouldn't be the one saying this as his mother, but he's done really well and I'm proud of him. Yes, the only reason I approve of the marriage is that he seems to have a bright future. That's it. No more, no less. Yes, and so what do you want to say to me? Just get straight to the point. Oh, please. It's like you're operating on a whole different level of ignorance. Pathetic. Fine, let me lay it all out on the table for you. You've made a personal decision to consider you and Chase as completely separate entities going forward. What do you mean by that? Of course we're separate entities. We're two separate people. Everyone knows this. What I mean is that even after they get married, it doesn't make you part of our family. As far as I'm concerned, there is no connection between you and Chase. I don't understand what you're saying. You're not making sense. Chase is my son. So why are you claiming that there's no connection between us? Oh, I see. It's just as I thought. The reading comprehension of the Idiocracy class is so lacking. I'll explain it simply so that you'll understand. I don't want to accept an insidious single mother into my family. I've never seen someone so bigoted. And why you keep using that word insidious over and over again? Don't you have anything else in your vocabulary? Oh, shut up. The thought of you being Cindy's mother-in-law sickens me. The thought of you making her eat your disgusting food. I can't stand it. From now on, don't even think about contacting her without my permission. And don't ask for my permission. Just face it. 
You're just a shameless woman who doesn't know her place. My place? What do you mean? Is it so awful to be a single mother? Of course. It's a crime. A crime? What are you talking about? A crime against humanity. I'd accept it if it were only Chase coming to my family. But all I'm saying is that you are unacceptable to us. Chase is fine for me. It's very simple, really. Just accept it and go away without thinking about it. Just go away? You're saying that I should just disappear from Chase's life? Yes, yes. You're finally getting it. It's nice to see that the woman who has mopped for brains is finally able to understand something. Even something as simple as this. Oh please, just go away forever. My wife was also very concerned about having to associate with someone with no class like yourself. No class? That's totally untrue. <sighs> You're no different than a vulture that gave birth to a dove. It's amazing that Chase was able to climb out of whatever squalor you raised him in. Whoa, this is the first time I've heard of birds giving birth. Oh, whatever. I couldn't care less. You seem to get the point regardless. Is this your attempt to pretend you're oblivious just to make me look foolish? Well, Chase did indeed climb his way up to high places. I can't disagree with that. He's really talented and smart. I do feel honored to have him as a son. Good. I'm glad that we're on the same page. It sounds like you're starting to recognize your own place. So, you've got it then. You understand what needs to be done, right? Huh? What needs to be done? What's so difficult to understand? Please, disappear from our lives. And of course, don't even think of coming to the wedding. That's the best you can do for your son and everyone around you. What are you talking about? I raised Chase all by myself. Now you're saying that I can't even attend his wedding? My problem isn't that you raised him all by yourself. My problem is with people who get divorced. What is your problem with people who got divorced? People who get divorced don't have the patience and persistence that life demands. Men only divorce women when the woman's looks and charms aren't up to his standards. In other words, any marriage that ends in divorce was a marriage between two selfish people. Listen, Blake, I'm honestly not sure I follow your logic. Of course you don't follow my logic. To raise a child in a single parent household is to force the child into a cruel environment. It's a kind of crime, a crime against mankind. Single moms out there should all be put in jail so that they can repent their terrible sins. You're saying such awful things despite knowing absolutely nothing about what you're talking about. You're the one who abused a child just for your own convenience. Get your act together. On second thought, is your plan to live out the rest of your life leeching money off of your successful son? That's probably it, isn't it? What on earth? Of course not. I never thought of taking advantage of my own son. It's just a matter of time before you start pestering him for money, isn't it? As a family, it's important that we will pull out the weeds by the roots as they are sprouting. Weeds? You're referring to me as a weed? You're the one who needs to get his act together. Stop treating me in this reprehensible manner. Wow, you're getting the idea faster than I thought. <laughs> Single mother criminal. I think I'll enjoy making fun of you for the rest of my life. In other words, we want absolutely nothing to do with you anymore. Which is it? Do you want nothing to do with me? Or do you want to spend the rest of your life making fun of me? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Even a fool like you can be funny from time to time. Please, just take everything that I've said today to heart and act accordingly. It seems like us talking anymore is a waste of time. Yes, that's it. You're absolutely right. Never contact me ever again, please. You contacted me, actually. Oh, shut up. A selfish woman like you deserves to live out her miserable old age in lonely solitude. I hope you live out your days forever, regretting what you've done. I think that there's going to be a lot of trouble if you don't allow me to go at the wedding. Are you sure you're okay with that? Of course. <laughs> Please, do me a favor and don't go.
Hey, you old hag. You couldn't follow my simple instructions? How dare you show up to the wedding uninvited? I tried to get into the venue, but I was told that my name isn't on the invitation list. They made me leave. I told you not to come to the wedding. What can't you understand about that? There isn't a seat for you anyways. We have no seats for old hags who were tossed away by their men. <laughs> You're the worthless scum of society. You're an eyesore and you should disappear. Just do it for your child. This is Chase's wedding that we're talking about. I don't care what you say. As the mother of the groom, I will attend the wedding. I'm attending not just for myself, but for my son's sake. You still don't understand your place, do you? If you cared about his sake, you would get out of here already. Get lost before you embarrass him, you evil witch. Insidious a single mother like you is not welcome here. Do you hear me? Is there absolutely no way that I can attend the wedding? Are you absolutely sure that this is the way you want things to go? I refuse to allow a single mother piece of trash like you to attend my daughter's wedding. You won't be allowed into the venue, so just get lost. Stay away from us as far as possible. You're just gonna embarrass everyone if you show up at the wedding. Fine. I'll leave then. But don't say that you regret it later on, because I hate to say that I told you so. Oh please, stop biding any more time. Just do me a favor and get the hell out of here. And don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> that would be great. I appreciate your honesty. Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? I've been searching for you everywhere, but I couldn't find you. Where are you right now? I'm sorry. You told me to get lost, right? Why are you contacting me? I thought you never wanted to speak to me again. Yeah, it's true that I was saying that you should get lost. But it's just you. How dare you bring everyone with you? Everyone's gone. I don't want to waste my time reasoning with a piece of trash like you. But you'll need to answer for what you've done. I didn't do anything. Cindy called me when she found out I couldn't get into the venue. She said that she would change the venue so that I could join. I told her that she really didn't need to, but she insisted. She did what? What kind of nonsense are you spouting at the moment? She said she couldn't believe how terribly you were treating me. She said that it's embarrassing and pathetic how you discriminate against me just because I'm a single mother. She said there's no way she can have the wedding at the original venue because she didn't want to risk breathing the same air as you. What? How could she say something so cruel about her own father? There is no way. You're simply making this all up, aren't you? Ah, I knew it. So, you're finally revealing your true colors as a sly, manipulative witch who relishes in stirring up conflicts among family members, aren't you? She asked if I knew of any venues and after asking some of my friends, I found another wedding venue that was vacant because of a cancellation. Then, everyone just went over to the new venue. Oh, except you. Cindy said she would be really angry if anyone told you where it is. I don't believe you. This is obviously some pathetic underhanded ploy of yours so you could attend the wedding. Oh, so you were that desperate to be at the wedding, huh? Desperate enough to stoop to lying just to manipulate the situation in your favor. Is that how far you're willing to go to get what you want? This is why I stay away from single mothers. They're the worst of the worst. You're absolutely shameless. You think only of yourself and you'll do anything to get your way. Whatever. Just tell me where the new venue is. Nah, I don't think I will. Honestly, why should I? Why don't you ask someone else? You hate me so much, so why bothering me? What? How could you not tell me? I can get a hold of anybody. I need to know where the new venue is and no one else is answering my messages or picking up their phones. So I am asking you. 
She said that she doesn't want to see you. Don't mess with me. I'm the bride's father. Have you ever heard of a wedding ceremony where you don't invite both of the parents of the bride? Do you have any self-awareness at all? Of course, we're going to leave the worthless people uninvited. We don't just let anybody show up to our events. If you were allowed in, I couldn't introduce you to other people because of the sheer humiliation of it. I'm an executive at a major corporation. My wife has an Ivy League education. We're at another level from the likes of you. In fact, we're several levels above you. The thing is, your CEO really seems to have taken a liking to me. What are you saying? You're dreaming. <laughs> dreaming? She's sitting right next to me. We go way back, actually. We've been friends since high school. Since high school? I'm a single mother, but did you know that I started my own business 20 years ago? In fact, your company does a lot of business with the company I founded. What? No way. Do you know Vexnova Technologies? That's our biggest customer. Most of our sales are with them. That's the company I founded. We do a lot of business with your company, but I only deal with Amanda directly. What? You actually know Amanda? Are you serious? Like I said, we've known each other since high school. Amanda and I get along very well. Our orders with your company have been increasing a lot lately, so Amanda and I meet up quite frequently these days. I was just explaining to her right now why we have to go to the trouble of going to the new venue for the wedding. She's really mad after hearing about what you've done. What? What did you tell her? Naturally, she wanted to hear why we were moving to a new venue. I'm not the type of person to go around lying to people. I told her it's because of how you treated me. Amanda asked if she could see the messages you sent me, and I showed them to her. You're absolutely insane. Of course, you're the kind of person to leak private messages. By the way, did you know that Amanda was raised by a single mother as well? You're lying. This whole thing is just an elaborate lie you've concocted. You're full of schemes and lies. You're projecting. I showed her the messages you sent me where you insulted me for being a single mother. Amanda said reading them made her feel like she'd been insulted by you personally. I had no intention of that whatsoever. Plus, I've never heard of a CEO from a single mother household. I still don't believe you. I think you need to get around more. There are plenty of CEOs and other successful people who were raised by single mothers. You really shouldn't hold that kind of prejudice against people. I think you might be the most narrow-minded person I've ever met in my life. I had no intention whatsoever of insulting her. She says she's sick of your excuses. Seems like she's going to hate you from now on, and there's nothing more that you can do about it. Oh, this is really not good. Please help me somehow, Polly. That's not my name. You should at least remember my name. My name is Mallory. Okay, Mallory. Please put in a good word for me with Amanda. <laughs> You're so clueless. I was testing you just now. My real name is Molly. You couldn't even get it right after you already messed up? Oh, wow. Amanda is really angry right now. Find some other way to calm her down. Why would I do that? How she feels is up to her. Wait, Cindy and Amanda are now talking together about you now. They're both really mad. What's this? Cindy said she's had enough of you? She says she's never wanted to speak to you ever again. Oh my. Cindy says she wants to disown you as a father. Is that even possible? Disown me? What? A daughter can't disown her own father? And you're lying again. I don't believe a word. Amanda says that she's decided to demote you because of your behavior. Demote me? Just because she's the CEO doesn't mean she can just do whatever she wants. My performance at work is impeccable. I don't even make mistakes like the others. The thing is that since your company's business with Vexnova Technologies is going to be discontinued, there's going to be a lot less work for you. Plus, 
It's going to cause a major loss for the company. Just giving you a demotion is too kind if you ask me. She says she's going to move you away from the main branch. What? We don't have any other branches? Anyway, I told her that if someone else takes your position, then we will resume our dealings. See? You're all plotting against me. You're all acting way out of line. We're acting out of line? Do you think you're in a position to say that to us right now? Oh, you're absolutely crazy. Watch it. Haven't you learned where insulting me gets you? She says she's been thinking of starting a new branch in Alaska, and she says you'd be perfect candidate to go start the new branch. Wow, congratulations! Sounds like she's got special plans for you. No, I don't want to be sent to Alaska. My wife made me agree that we'd always live in the city before we got married. Plus, she can't stand cold weather. She'll never agree to moving there. She'd divorce me before she moved to Alaska. And I should care because why? I need to be there to defend myself. This isn't fair that you won't let me in. If I can't defend myself, there's no telling what kind of crazy things she might do. Again, why should I care? You reap what you sow. This is all on you. This isn't just about business. This is about my life. I'm sincerely sorry. I sincerely apologize. Making fun of you was unacceptable. And I'm sorry that it hurt Amanda's feelings too. <laughs> Apologizing now is not going to accomplish anything. It's way too late for apologies. Where is your humanity? You should have told me from the very beginning that you are the founder of Oxnova Technologies. And none of this would have happened. I hate it when people flaunt their titles and accomplishments. I don't go around randomly telling people my work history. Oh, I'll never forgive you for this. In the end, you got to attend the wedding. Isn't that enough? Oh, please, just let me attend too. That's really up to Cindy, and there's no way she's going to allow it. This is incredulous. You can't do this to me. I can't believe that you make my daughter betray me like this. You're definitely a witch. No doubt about that. Oh, Cindy. She's such a great girl. She's impeccable as a daughter-in-law. And most important of all, she isn't like her father at all. I guess it turns out the vulture that hatched a dove was you all along. <laughs> After that, we finished up the wedding at the new venue without any problems. Blake's reputation was damaged quite a lot from what happened at the wedding. Everyone was asking why he wasn't there. It seems like he really is being sent to Alaska to start a new branch there. Not as a family man, but as a recently divorced one. If he hadn't made fun of me for being a single mother so badly, he could have lived out his old age together with his wife. Well, I guess it's all just karma. What comes around, goes around.